say, those uh, three Labour front benches, uh, Jonathan Reynolds, Stephen Doughty and Kevin Jones. It seems that uh, your sacking has set the dominoes falling. Well, that, those are individual decisions for uh, the politicians concerned. I've got great respect for them all, but it, this has been their decision and I've not uh, encouraged or suggested to anyone that the that they do that, but that's the decision they've taken. Mm. But, I mean, I've just been talking at length with Mr Doughty. He, he cites your, your treatment as the reason he went. Well, I served uh, on the Labour front bench after Mr Corbyn became leader uh, because I thought that was the best thing I could do in terms of duty to the party. And I've worked with Labour all my life, uh, all my working life, going right back to the days of Neil Kinnock and John Smith. I've never rebelled against the uh, Labour whip in 11 years as an MP and I wanted to do my duty to uh, the party and to the cause of keeping uh, Britain in the European Union which is something I feel strongly about and was my uh, responsibility in policy terms as Shadow Europe Minister but the leader has the right to uh, have a reshuffle and to change their front bench team if that's what the leader wants to do and that's what Mr Corbyn uh, has done. He didn't cite when he spoke to me uh, any reason to do with my front bench responsibility as Shadow Europe Minister. Uh, he raised instead issues of uh, statements I'd made uh, about terrorism, fighting terrorism and the responsibility uh, for where terrorism lies, which uh, he thinks represents a different view from the one that he holds. Yeah, but one of the other reasons cited, maybe not to your face, but by his people, was that they, they issued a so-called charge sheet, and uh, on it was an interview you did with me last year on my Sunday show when you warned about uh, Labour and those at the top turning into a protest group. Is that the way it seems to be going now? Well, I remember that interview, um, and uh, I think you asked me about a protest that was taking place, and protest has always been part of the Labour tradition. It, it goes back a long way and I've been in a few protest marches myself uh, over the years but it's not the only thing that Labour is about and uh, I think what I said to you then and I would say it again today is that you know uh, our historical role has been to try to be a party of government uh, and not see ourselves only as a protest party and it's in government when we've built a broad coalition of voters across the country that we've done things like introduce the NHS, introduce the minimum wage, the equalities legislation that all Labour members are proud of. It's in government where we've realised our principles and been able to change the country for the better and I think that's always what the Labour Party should be aiming for. So do you think others are going to go? I really don't know and I'm sad uh, at the situation that's uh, come about. It's not been my decision. Uh, I, I served and, uh, you know, as I say, I'm very loyal to the Labour Party. I have been uh, all my life and, you know, now from the back benches, I will certainly continue to work for a Labour Party that combines a strong economy, good public services, good values in the world. That's always the kind of Labour Party that I want to see and uh, that's what I'll do from the back benches. Just finally, Mr McFadden, uh, the Trident vote uh, looms. I mean, is it an issue like that that could actually split the party? I don't think there'll be a, a split, if you mean back in the 1980s uh, sense. The truth is there are differences uh, of opinion about some policies. We always knew that was the case when Mr Corbyn became leader and I never made any pretense to him or to anyone else that I agreed with him on everything. And this issue, for example, uh, of terrorism is one where I've taken a strong view for years that the West shouldn't blame itself when there are terrorist acts, that the full responsibility for these things lies with those who carry them out, that no one forces anyone to kill innocent people in Paris or blow up the London underground or any of the terrible things that have been done. And I take okay. a very strong view of that. All and right. it's not a matter of loyalty. It's okay. a matter of difference in substance. Sorry, Mr McFadden, we are out of time. Thank you very much indeed for yours, Pat McFadden there.